This is a lesson that is designed for GCSE and A-level drama students that would like to know more about Arto, his influences, the conventions that are attributed to Arto, and his ideology for theatre. So we will begin the lesson with a warm up. You're going to stretch your fingers to the ceiling, crouch low to the floor, stretch your fingers to the ceiling, lie on the floor, stretch your fingers to the ceiling, crouch low to the floor, stretch your fingers to the ceiling, lie on the floor and repeat. I want you to repeat this again and again and again, increasing the pace and increasing the intensity of the movements. As you can see at the top, it says pushing extremes warm up. So you really should be physically struggling to do the exercise as you come to the end. And as you go through the lesson, I want you to consider what purpose does this activity have and how does it actually link to our toes vision? We are not doing this simply to warm up the body. We are doing this to help you understand Arto's conventions. Learning objective. To comprehend Arto's vision for theatre, I can list key features of Arto's biography. I can explore Arto's conventions practically. I can create notes that help me extend my learning beyond the classroom. At the beginning of this lesson, students will be handed a blank puzzle on A3 paper and students will also be handed two academic extracts to read for the following lesson. So Arto's vision for theatre was not a concise and exact set of conventions. Like Stanislavski's system for naturalism or Breck's epic theatre, to determine Arto's style, we will draw from an array of his influences, writings, thoughts and creations. Please fill in each puzzle piece as we go through the lesson. This will help you to build your notes and your understanding of Arto and see how these things combine to create the theatre of cruelty. Preferably students will come to the lesson with biographical information about Arto. That can be set as a home learning task before you begin this lesson. I have decided to include some of the sort of key information here. So he was born in France in 1896 and died in 1948. Arto was a poet, actor, scriptwriter and director and he was operating during the surrealist movement in the early 1920s but his ideas were even too abstract for them so that gives you an indication as to how obtuse some of his ideas for theatre were he was quite ahead of his time Arto suffered with mental illness his whole life he was often hospitalised for his mental health and he received electric shock therapy in an attempt to cure his mental health. Arto suffered with meningitis as a young child and was prescribed opiates to try and overcome some of the headaches and pains that he experienced. This however did lead to a lifelong struggle with drugs and addiction. Arto was not recognised for his theatrical vision during his lifetime it's only after he has passed that people have picked up on some of his ideas, his thoughts and his visions for theatre 
And now we see it more and more in modern day theatre that he was quite a visionary, he's quite forward thinking in some of his ideas. And that's why they were not accepted at the time. He was trying to revolutionise theatre and step away from realism. He believed that theatre should be a universal language that everybody could understand and engage with. He felt that grunts, screams, sighs, heavy breathing and primitive sounds could be a way of communicating. Arto wanted to push his actors and audience to the extreme, emotionally and physically. Puzzle piece two, Balinese dancers. Arto was heavily influenced by a performance of Balinese dancers. He felt they exhibited something beyond entertainment. I would highly recommend searching on YouTube Balinese drama dance performance. There is a black and white version of a Balinese theatrical performance that exhibits the type of performance that Arto speaks about in some of his writing and it helps you engage with the movement and the catharsism that Arto is hoping to gain through his vision for theatre. Arto also felt the performance was similar to a ritual or a religious rite whereby they would restore the cosmic balance in the world. Arto saw performance as a way to bring communities together, to release emotions and to try and gain this sense of community. He really saw it as a driving force for good for humanity. There are a couple of videos on here that I would suggest that you watch. And then as a group, we would then perform two simple movements that we will include in the performance that we are about to build up. Puzzle piece three, rituals. Arto believed that theatre should be ritualistic because he wanted to reintroduce a primitive ritual into life on a mass scale, like an organised anarchy that would leave the audience feeling they had released their wildness, violence and joy that society forces them to repress. I can't help but think of Kanye West's new church service where a large group of people were meeting privately and playing music, dancing, singing. It's that kind of vision Arto had in the 1920s that we are still seeing replicated in today's society. In groups, I want you to create a mind scene of approximately 10 seconds where you depict a ritual. You could demonstrate blowing out candles on a birthday cake, carrying a coffin into a funeral, a relaxing meditation, prayer or choose something of your own choice what i want you to do with that is i want you to repeat this mime in a cyclical nature so just the same 10 seconds over and over again but increase the pace and increase the intensity of what you are doing Puzzle piece four, universal language. Arto wanted to escape the confines of language and focus on a non-verbal form of communication. In your performance, have the characters express an emotion to one another through the use of a sound. Select an emotion, for example, happiness. Number yourselves in your group so you have an order to follow. Converse with one another using only sounds that express that emotion. No words, just sounds. Increase the intensity of the sound. 
one being fairly happy and 10 being ecstatic, make that match the emotion that you are working with. Arto was attacking the French theatre, particularly dominated by words. In place of poetry of language, he proposed a poetry of space employing such means as music, dance, painting, mime, gesture, chanting, symbolic shapes and lighting. Arto wanted to rebel against theatre as it stood and wanted to use different forms of communication and a form of communication that almost could be reminiscent of Commedia dell'arte's gromolot where they used to converse through gibberish so people from any uh, language background could understand and engage with the performance itself so we can see ties here to the 1600s Puzzle piece five, audience actor relationship. Arto liked to experiment with the proxemics between the audience and actors. He often expressed a want to make the audience feel uncomfortable. Also sometimes referred to as attack of the senses. How could you incorporate this idea into the performance you are building? Consider, for example, the play The Woman in Black where a member of the cast walks through the audience in order to make them feel scared and uncomfortable. I would also consider pointing out this section of the academic reading whereby Arto expresses he would like to have the audience in the centre of the action, with the action happening around them, him considering them being on chairs that swivel, there being galleries above the actors and the fact that he would consider an aircraft hangar to be a suitable place in which to perform his work. That gives you a sense of the innovative and sort of forward thinking ideas that Arto had about staging theatre and his ideas around the proxemics he felt would be exciting and interesting between the actors and the audience. Puzzle piece six, the theatre of cruelty. Arto created the theatre of cruelty and aimed to attack the audience's senses. Arto felt that theatre should make the actors and audience feel extreme emotions. Arto expressed he wanted the audience to even feel emotional pain throughout the performance. Incorporate an element of the theatre of cruelty as the final part of the performance you are currently building. So you can see in the extract here, he proposed that the theatre of cruelty includes shouts, groans, dramatic moments of all kinds, brilliant lighting, attractive harmonies, rare musical notes, the physical rhythm of moves, Read this extract and incorporate an element of the theatre of cruelty within the performance you have built.
Now we have looked at several elements that create an Artodian performance. It is time to spend on your rehearsal, just refining those movements you've created and coming now to a performance. Once you perform, I want you to use the following sentence stems and vocabulary to evaluate each other's work. The performance was successful because I could see the influence of Balinese dance within the movement work on stage. The performance would be more successful if the group were more experimental with the actor audience relationship and really challenged the proxemics that we traditionally see in theatre. The most successful element in the performance was the use of non-verbal communication because they clearly were experimenting with a universal language going from using heavy breaths to grunts to even screams which helped develop the intensity of the performance throughout. The least successful element in the performance was the use of symbolic movement because they didn't truly understand the ritual that they had selected to perform. Therefore, the movements weren't as sophisticated as they could have been. Okay, so those are some examples of the types of critiques I would want to be hearing after these performances. Pushing Extremes warm up. So at the beginning of the lesson, we looked at this physical warm up that was to push and challenge you as an actor. How does this link to Arto's vision? Plenary. Now it's time to make sure you have notes in six sections of your puzzle. Home study is to extend the notes on the six areas we have explored today. To complete the reading given for the next lesson. And stretch and challenge task is to research Arto further and find three things we haven't explored today. Complete the three empty puzzle pieces to demonstrate your findings.